Good evening, everybody. My name is Madonna. Good evening, everyone. I'm Charlize Theron. And I'm Seth Rogen. Hey there, everybody. My name is Tom Hanks. My name is Anne Hathaway. And I'm Rebel Wilson. Good evening, everybody. This is Will Smith. Welcome to the Graham Norton Show. <laughs> It's that time again when we take a look back at some of the highlights of the past series. So many great guests and great stories, and one sofa in particular brought together some of my very favorite people. <laughs> really, Kevin, you've never been in a film together. No, no, no. no. Well, oh, that's <laughs> no. That came out like You were like, oh, no. Like <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Evan, no. If you did work together, I mean, the world would go crazy, yeah. but Philadelphia might explode. Oh, my God, yeah. Because Philadelphia loves you both. When you go back to Philadelphia, presumably you visit this. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a 65-foot oh mural yeah. of Will Smith, right? Yeah. That, but, uh, but someone else has a mural in Philadelphia. Who? Who? Well, to show it after. Well, <laughs> it's only... <laughs> it's not as big. Well, yeah. It's not as big, but it's, <laughs> it's beautiful. You should have shown mine first. I think... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but that, but <laughs> except Wills. Kevin. Kevin, though, you do have one up on Will because that's a special day. That it? is, that is, that is what? a special day for me. Um, I have a day in Philadelphia, but that's uh, that's Max's, and it's a uh, it's a place where I frequent it to get cheese steaks oh, to my child. You have a day? A Ke it's Kevin, Kevin Hart, Hart day. day yeah. A Kevin Hart day. A Philadelphia Kevin yeah. Hart day. Yeah. It does Philadelphia have a I Will didn't... Smith day? No, no, no. Yeah. yeah, no, that's that's. We need to sort that out. Come on, Philip. That's actually what I'm thinking. And not to yeah. rub salt in the wound, Octavia Spencer has a day. Alabama, give me right. Alabama. Yeah. 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 You just, you just, 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 just recently. Uh, March, March twenty-first. Wow. Do you, do you go back every year? No, I send a card. <laughs> What's so weird, but politics is so nuts now. And like, so you said you worked with Stormy Daniels. I did work, not in a porno film. <laughs> <laughs> did you not know this? Oh, what? Just say, don't, don't just say it like what? that. I, I, Stormy Daniels is in uh, knock. She's in both Knocked Up and The Forty Year Old Virgin. Um, we. <laughs> we, we very, Her IMDb so is really like, varied. It's very <laughs> In and out of mainstream, wow. literally. I, we, I, we, you never told her. She I don't so think. I'm I, sorry. First we, of all, I'm learning so much about yeah, that. It's been a, it's been a weird So much story. about that. But yeah. we, we, very early in our careers, we realized like if you ever need someone to be naked in a movie, you should hire a porn star because it's the easiest thing they did that week, and they're just. <laughs> and so, in general, there it's not a situation where you're like convincing a mainstream actress to get naked. Instead, you're taking a porn actress and putting her in a mainstream movie and she doesn't have to put anything in her. And so she's thrilled. <laughs> and so Stormy was, we had there some stripper scenes in these films and Stormy played a stripper in the in those films. Were you considering her for a long uh, time? She was for a while gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I go way back uh, with, Stormy. with Stormy Daniels. <laughs> but she did tell you the, all the stories then. Yes, then she did tell us that she had had a relationship with Donald Trump. <laughs> and at the time when Just a porn star tells you they have sex with Donald Trump, it's the least interesting thing you had heard that day. <laughs> Honestly, uh, it was the most expected information you could ever <laughs> expect to hear. And literally was not interesting to me. I was like, oh yeah, great. A porn star had sex with Donald Trump? Like, yeah, uh, that's exactly what I would expect to happen. And then years <laughs> later, it became pretty relevant information. I was, yes. <laughs> and I was just stuck there with. And I was like, do I say something? And I was like, I don't think I should say something. Yeah. I think it's I a good place I, to I say something. I believe you played yeah. it right, Seth. I played my card. You know, in general, I played my card. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, you, you haven't been on the show before. Now, is your mother here in the audience? My, basically, my whole family, except for one of my brothers, are here. Oh, they're all here? Yeah, and my godparents, too. Wow, there's like a little Where are they? The Where, are they? Where, are they? Where are you? Oh, there they are. There they are. Hi. Oh. This is, honestly, I think this is the thing that they've been the most excited for in all of my career. Oh. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not Game of Thrones, not X-Men, Graham Norton. <laughs> which, you know... And this is on telly, you didn't have to come. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making the effort. Uh, very nice of you. And of course, very exciting for your parents because you are now Mrs. Jonas. Well, yes. <laughs> no, you got married. I did get married. Yes, I'm not making this I, up. No, 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 no. Uh, But now you had a Vegas wedding. I did. And we got a picture. Oh, no. Um, now, oh, your, oh, yes. your, your wedding photographer was Diplo, is that right? Well, we didn't um, choose him to be our wedding photographer. He just kind of decided to, to live stream it. OK. <laughs> yes. Bernie, what happens in Vegas goes everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you are having a big party. Potentially. No? Oh, no, is that a secret? Well, uh, not sure. anymore. Not anymore, yes. I didn't we sign will, anything. It's in France, party. 15th of July. Uh, <laughs> just outside Montpellier. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> that was a pretty good guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And now you guys have talked about you know, walking away from the Avengers, but um, I, I, I read somewhere where you thought, end of Jon Snow, I'm going to be cool about this. This is going to be, you know, it's just a chapter in my life. I'm fine. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I, I'd, maybe you've, you've had this when you get people come up to you in the street and they say, are you Jon Snow? And you're kind of like, well, not technically, I'm not Jon Snow, no, but well, let's go with it, I'm Jon... But I kind of waited, I really, really had waited to say the words, not anymore. <laughs> like, in a really stoic, kind of oh. cool way. Like, the first person I go, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what really happened was I left set and I was very emotional and this poor girl came up to the airport and went, are you Jon Snow? And I went, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, I know you're all about the future, what comes next, but what I've noticed on your Instagram, mm -hmm. you, you do kind of look back a bit. Well, I mean, sometimes, because yeah. the past shaped me. Yeah. Or, or sometimes I feel nostalgic. And you know, lots of amazing people were in my life. Tell me, we've got to look no at some of them. no longer exist. Yeah, but we've got a picture here. You posted this. Uh, what age are you here? Five or six, yeah. And that's a talent show. That was the beginning of my, my career as a performing artist. Did you win? I did not. <laughs> I'd love to know who won. <laughs> She's dead now. <laughs> she died under mysterious circumstances. <laughs> it was a terrible playground accident. <laughs> uh, now, this must be... This is early... Uh, early days, but you were... I mean, That's when I was on tour with the Beastie Boys. That's Madison Square Garden. Wow. And uh, that's when they pulled my pants off of me. Actually, I was wearing a skirt. And then we had a water gun fight on stage. They were my opening act. And this went... Because the fans didn't know the Beastie Boys then. No, nope, nobody had ever heard of them. And everyone said that I was going to be booed off the stage or they were going to be booed off the stage or what was I thinking and... I'm crazy and nobody knows them and their music is crap and all that stuff. And I said, yes, they're opening right. up for me. <laughs> <laughs> and they became huge. They really did. Yeah, I love the Beastie Boys. Because imagine you were saying backstage about uh, Madonna and sort of... What were you saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing about, um, like, when does somebody... <laughs> <laughs> Tell her to her face. <laughs> Tell her to her face. Uh, no, you were saying about the idea of Madonna. Yeah, the idea of just when does your life change? Because obviously in our film, we've, this guy comes from nowhere and then his life changes. At what point do you realise that life's never going to be quite the same again? I mean, are you talking about that fame word? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, I think for me it was my first tour. I kind of went from doing small clubs uh, First, I started off in, a ba in bands, playing in bands and doing places like CBGBs and oh, yeah, clubs yeah. in the Lower East Side in Manhattan. And then I made a record, and then I was playing in discos around America and Europe. And then I went from that to huge, a huge tour. I kind of skipped the bus tour yeah. segment. And you then I, when I walked out on stage for the first time in, I think it was Washington, and I, I just saw a sea of people, girls dressed like me, and I... I don't know, I, this energy hit me and I 
realized that my life was never going to be the same. And is that kind of answered prayers where you kind of... I don't think anyone ever prays for that. That's what I mean. I don't think the Beatles ever imagined that they were going to be as huge and influential and life-changing as they were. I don't think... No one ever could imagine. And it's interesting because at the moment, there's a, the, um, you know, this idea of musical biopics are very en vogue. Yes. Uh, between Rhapsody God and Rock and everything. Uh, Madonna? No. Uh, would someone make yours? Who would you like to make yours? I will make mine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay. I would like to warn any director who thinks they're going to make a biopic of me that there will be more mysterious deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this program is dedicated to Danny Boyle. <laughs> uh, but Bodyguard took off in a way that I think no one expected. And... It was completely insane, and people are always saying to me, what, what, what was it, you know, that, that, that create, what's the recipe for that sort of success? And you're like, well, if I knew well, that, I mean, so it would all be... Well, it's so good. It's incredibly I... good. I mean, I Thank stayed you. up way too Thank late. You. <laughs> I watched them all, bing, 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 all. <laughs> Matt, not because there's a question. Yeah. Yeah. Was, no, happen. just to say, I haven't, I haven't seen it yet, so can you not talk about it? Oh. <laughs> you won't believe in episode three. You won't believe what happened. No, no, right. I won't. So yeah. please, just okay, don't talk about it at all. Yeah. Please, yeah. <laughs> and actually, because it is, it's, it being, it's on in America now. Yes. Is that what you, do you see it in America? Yes. Do you, yes. Have you seen it, Bill? No, I haven't. I'm like Matt. I okay. don't want to hear a lot about it yet. <laughs> well, the people are watching America. Uh, she's really dead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Doesn't come back. But people won't have it. Wait anyway, a minute! So, uh, uh, don't. That, that no, didn't you think? Out. Didn't you think she was going to come back no, to life? Well, wait a minute. For those who <laughs> say this, that's a complete red herring. That doesn't exist. What he just said. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, they're going to get really confused now, Sally. Because they're going. But Sally feels sad. <laughs> well, let them watch it and decide for themselves. She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and of course, with the film, it comes your own little figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. It was great. Yeah. Was, uh, and I actually, I actually have. They've, there you go. And they've actually done one of you as well, which is they. So there's a. Say what now? A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good. It's quite good. And I'm told that I, I sort of thing. <laughs> I've been told you have like a, a collection of versions of you that have been made and brought as gifts. Is that there are some other right. toys of me at home? Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm in the special the room yeah. where Aww. I go to play with myself. Right. Yes. <laughs> and look, put the microphone and everything. I know there was a lot of detail. It's fully accessorized. I, I really actually, I, I'm nearly. You're sort of yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's done very well. Yeah, well, good. I'm, I'll I'm leave glad. There. I really, I worked very hard on it, so I'm glad you <laughs> like it. No, no, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, but now, presumably, so I'm showing you your... Sorry, I threw you away. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, but presumably, you know, some people must be very excited, like me, when they see a figure of themselves. But you... Right, I mean, yeah, no, the director actually sent me a very well-meaning text of, of, uh, of all the, like, the toys and stuff that they've got lined up to, to come out when the film comes out, and he was just like, congratulations, you're a toy! And I'm like, I've been, I mean, I don't want to rain on your thing, I've just been a toy a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Which, again, it sounds, just sounds like a very conceited thing to say. <laughs> but it's not meant that way. It's just a weird yeah. fact of... Of all life. the people he could have texted. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's just like, I've, I've been seeing myself as weird plastic figures for uh, a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's one of those jobs where you kind of think, oh, how hard can that be? But they really oh, do put you oh, through dear. it. I have never begun a, a, a recording session without wishing it was already over. Because, understand, um, Woody is clenched all the time. Yeah. He's clenched. There was, a, there was something he's got to explain, or come on, guys! Or, no, 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 look out, look out, look out! This way, this way! It's all that. And you can't move. The microphone is right there, and you can't move, and you have to be like this. And it's like... And then they save the last thing for you, usually at the end of a very long workday, is the grunts. Yeah. <laughs> and they will show you an animatic of Woody climbing up a bunch of books onto a thing and say, OK, could you do grunts of climbing up? OK, all right. That is very good. That's, that's, that's legitimately how Tom was made. That's right. Same, same way. The 
then you have to do the coming down. Well, did he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think they, 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 they are gleeful at making you ring every possible meaning from a line. They, they, when you're in, like, in the young act, repetitions, the exercise repetitions, where you have a very simple cue and a very simple line. And the cue might be, would you like some more coffee? And the line you have to say is, coffee, you think I want more coffee? Boy, do I need more coffee. So if you would say, Coffee, do I want coffee? Boy, do I need more coffee, okay? And you're gonna say it every conceivable way you can. Sure. <laughs> and all I'm gonna say is, do this. would you like more coffee? Would you like more coffee? <laughs> coffee, coffee, boy, do I need oh, more coffee, coffee. Oh, coffee, coffee, boy, do I need more coffee. Good, thank you. Would you like some more coffee? Coffee, coffee, boy, do I need some more coffee. Can you try it with a little more something to it? Because we need, this is, this is a big important scene, because King Kong is out front and he's going to smash the building. Okay, That's yes, Tom Hanks. Would you like some more coffee? Coffee, coffee, please, sir, I need some more coffee. Good, let's try it again. <laughs> Would you like some more coffee? Coffee, coffee, please, sir, I need some more coffee. Would you like some more coffee? Coffee, coffee, please, sir, come on, I need some more coffee. <laughs> Would you like some more coffee? Coffee, please, Tom Hanks, <laughs> give me some coffee. <laughs> That's what it is like doing. Bravo, by the way. That was absolutely... So you know how it works. You know how it works. And, uh... We must mention uh, uh, another one of your films, because I think, uh, Seth, you also are a big fan of Project X. I was a big pro I'm a fan of all, all your films growing up, but that, really? but that like was that? a film I watched a really? lot as a kid. That's, I it don't really, hear that every day. Did, it, yeah, was, well. it was really upsetting. Yeah, film. it is a little yeah. upsetting. The monkey yeah. dies. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is not. A few monkeys no, die, but there's that monkeys. shot of like the dead monkey hand falling out of the yeah. tree. That that messed me up as a kid. I was like, oh man. <laughs> but but yeah, I think I, I I don't know you very well, Matthew. Yeah. But well, I think. But you're getting to know I me. I am. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking uh, that you did enjoy the film because can you imagine Matthew Broderick looking happier than he does in this picture? No. Look at you. Aww. You look so so happy. For him. So now is that the original it's, chimp? Is that Arthur? An ape. Well, I think that is. Arthur. That could be Siafu, but I think it's Arthur. Okay. I knew all their names. Look at you, man. Very polite. You, yes. And I was always polite to them because if you don't, they can grab you with four hands and put their fangs in your neck. Yeah, so, you rip your face off. So this is the bit. This is the bit where you're loving life and you're really enjoying working with chimps. In this next picture, I think the chimp is still enjoying the experience. You <laughs> seem to have lost some of the love <laughs> of working with chimps. <laughs> 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 I, I feel the lights, happy. the lights gone out of your eyes there. <laughs> it looks like you started in a relationship well, with the chimp and then all of a sudden she was like, I want to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> Did they ever You're urinate on you? Doing What's that? Did they ever urinate on you? No, because they were put in diapers. Oh, wow. got it. But there's not. Yeah, they're not as there. attractive when they're totally nude. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Photo shoot. Yeah. 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 And then there's this picture, and it's like you and the chimp have both discovered that show business is shit. Look at that. <laughs> Jamie Bell, you're not, you're not a fan of the horse. I, I did, listen, I didn't love horses. Me and horses didn't particularly get along, Graham. Um, like, I'd be walking through a, I mean, not randomly walking through a field, but, like, I'd be <laughs> close to a horse, and it'd be like, oh, no, I'm not, uh, no, that guy's giving me energy, and it would, like, run away, because it would feel my <clears throat> fear. I was yeah. terrified of them, you know? They're we, big, and they're unpredictable. We've, ne we've never connected over this. I was, I was thrown from one on the set of Robin Hood. Oh, you were? And yeah. And I... I I got to a whole movie about Robin Hood and I never once got on a horse on camera. Yeah. Because wait, wait, is that wait, true? Is that, what? is that actually you were never on horseback? I was never on a horse in that film. Where? What? Because yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't bear to... I couldn't be within, like, ten metres yeah. of them. Because yeah. once I was thrown off, I was... Oh, right, yeah, sure. Right. Well, now, but then you yeah. talked to Jamie... Because you had a special... Was it a woman or a, a person, anyway? Her name is Camilla Napruce, and she does... She, she does the kind of horse mastery on a lot of uh, films. She's the horse master on Game of Thrones. Like, she's, she's done everything. And she has a very specific technique, which is kind of like strap you onto the horse. <laughs> and she's with you on another horse. And she just kind of starts going like, I don't really like this at all. And then she goes quicker and quicker. And you're like, no, seriously, stop. And then she'll like, ask you incredibly personal questions about your life. How was your father? Well, tell me about your father. Like, what do you feel most guilty about? And then ultimately you're like, I don't, I've never met him. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it was horrible at school. I put, took cigarettes to school and my teacher let me off. Like, and you realize I've totally forgotten about horse riding. That's... And it, it was a crazy kind of therapeutic 
um, amazing way of learning to ride a horse. I don't, I, yeah, it so was you will ride different. A you ride a horse. I love riding horses now. I, I went to her like every week after that. I see, I never would have admitted riding. that I won't ride horses <laughs> had I known that his story. <laughs> Uh, uh, now, the whole thing that Villanelle, because she is this is quite an extreme character, presumably you get extreme reactions from fans and things when you, when you meet people in the street. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people just look at me and think, is it her? But I had one recently that was really strange. Someone asked me um, for a photograph and I was like, yeah, sure, and, and was um, posing for a photograph and then she quietly just whispered in my ear, Will you strangle me? <laughs> and I was like, ah! And my brother's sister was with me at the time, and she was like, no. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Comer will not do that. <laughs> no. But now, Rebel, your fans, they, they love you. I would say sometimes love you too much. Uh, huh. Here's a picture of you with a fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> who's got a, a... A fat Amy quote. tattoo there on the torso. Oh. Yeah. Yes. That's uh, dedication. Yeah. That is dedication. <laughs> and, you know, and because, you know, he'd look good anyway. Yeah. You know, with or without tattoo, he'd look mm. fine. Yeah. And I'm, not sure, I'm not sure your face looks as good here. OK. Uh, <laughs> That's the back of somebody's leg. Well, no, because that's the pant <laughs> yeah. line yeah. there, I think. That's the, yeah. that's that the front, back? obviously. Well, not obviously. Yeah, it's Yeah. I'm not sure you will have seen these people. Okay. This is a man and woman from Poland. Yeah. And what bonds them is a love of you. They've got matching... Uh, oh, jeez! <laughs> what, <is it? laughs> what does it say? I'll oh, make America eat again. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It is funny. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. And, and, uh, and Kevin, obviously, you're like not just a stand up, you're like a stand up superstar. You sell yeah. out arenas all over the world. The best of our time. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Our time. Yeah. 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 But. What's nice to know is <laughs> it wasn't always like that. Mm. Oh, no. The, oh, like, no. Uh, what, did, what, was it, what did you perform at? You performed at a seafood festival? I mean, which, which, <laughs> which shit show you want to know about? It was always, I think they wanted, was it crab? I had a, I had a crab fest. That <laughs> <laughs> one, uh, Listen, what is you, that? In the beginning of the stand-up comedy, <laughs> you're not you're not performing in in luxury you know venues. They, mm. Wherever they feel that they can build the stage and make money is where you're going. So there was a crab fest. <laughs> <laughs> it was like we're gonna book some talent, <laughs> some comedian talent. And I was like, all right, well you know I'm available. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to tell a joke while people cracking crabs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best environment. <laughs> Literally, the frustration that comes from not being able to open a crab is still, and you're not funny at the same time, the stuff that you hear. I remember hearing a woman, oh an older lady, who was like, she was cracking crabs. Because <laughs> this is how you crack crabs. <laughs> Looking at me, and she's like cracking a crab. And I tell a joke, and the joke doesn't work. And I remember this lady just going, oh no. <laughs> I would much rather be booed. The, dis <laughs> the disappointment that came from her voice and then, oh no. She said, baby, it was like, oh no, baby. As, as if I made a mistake with my choice of life. Like, like I'm not doing it wrong. I, I mean, you know, look, the, 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 the hardship that I went through has helped. I hope build me into the person I am today, where I, I can take so much. But I, I've been through it all. I was I was hit in the face with a buffalo wing. Uh, <laughs> I performed at a. Don't perform a, around food. No, no, no. When you go to my shows now, there's no food. Uh, it was a, it was a it was actually a male strip club that they shut down for comedy for the first half. So it was, like, it was a bunch of it was ladies in there. And, you know, it was just supposed to be us performing for these women that were riled up. First thing, I got on stage when they introduced me, and this lady was like, pull it out! I said, hey, 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 that's not me. I'm not here for that. I'm here to entertain. These are jokes. 
I, I know who's got kids. I start, I start trying to merge into kid material. And there's one dude from the back. I just remember this dude from the back. He was like, that's enough. And he just, he just threw a buffalo wing at me. And it landed, hit me, hit me in the cheek. A little bit of sauce got like right here. Buffalo sauce is hot, so I start. I assumed that it was a woman with a deep voice. So I was like, who threw it? Who threw it? Because at the end of the day, I'm a man. I'm a man first. Don't disrespect me. <laughs> he stood up. He was like, I did it. And I, I contemplated just taking my clothes off. I was like, that's the only way to get out of this yeah. 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 And, and, and what a time to be Andrew Scott, hot priest. Yeah. <laughs> Now, have you all, so you've all seen oh, Fleabag. Yes. yes. Now, Lee, I know you're a big fan. <laughs> I love Fleabag, and I have not confessed this to my wife. Have you really not? I've genuinely not confessed it. She would kill me, but I feel like I should say it because it's he's here and it's appropriate. <laughs> I did the ultimate sin. Oh, OK. I got a head without telling my wife of the box set. Oh, and ooh. I was pretending then, when oh. I was watching it, that I hadn't seen it. <laughs> oh, no. And I even went to it, because we absolutely loved that second series, but I was texting, she goes, why aren't you watching this? And I even said, oh, well, it's not as good this series. <laughs> <laughs> which wasn't true, which wasn't true, but I had to say that's why I was texting, but actually I'd already seen it. Because, uh, Paloma, now you've met Andrew before. Yes. <laughs> In my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah, we met, um, and as you know, I, I'm not shy of an awkward situation. No, you, you direct. Um, yeah, so I had to confess to Andrew that I had a bit of alone time with episode five. But the thing that really upsets me is, like, today is everyone else but me has got more of a chance with Andrew. <laughs> but you've had your good time. I've had my moment, and yes. you know what, Andrew? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> on, behalf, on behalf of anybody who's got kids, been in a long-term relationship, thank you from the deepest, deepest bottom of my heart. Can I point out that when I watched it without my wife, that was just to get ahead of the series. <laughs> That's why I was doing it. Yeah, 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 what yeah, I want yeah. to know is, what I want to know is, when Philoma said that to you, how, what was your face doing, Andrew? Well, I'll tell well, you that she, she told me on the red carpet of the BAFTAs. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, hi, and she goes... And I was like, oh, hello, so... Uh, <laughs> Really excited. So she, she wrote it. Yes. And she was like, "Wow, that's an achievement." Yes, that you yeah. got you there. But I don't think I'm the only person. And there's a lot of people in the room looking at me like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> but don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to know that the Stephen, fact that I had my sofa steam cleaned three weeks ago <laughs> is entirely <laughs> coincidental. <laughs> and nothing to do with you. Nothing at all. But weirdly. Can I just check, am I the only one that's not masturbating? <laughs> <laughs> really? You would think having uh, lots of children would keep you kind of young, tech-savvy, you know, you'd know what's going on. But, David Tennant, this has not happened for you. You recently found out that you got left behind in oh. the world of texting and things. Well, yeah, I was... Just, I, now, when you start jobs, there's a... Because of the Me Too movement and lots of, uh, you know, great strides forward are being made in making sure workplaces are safe. Yep. And yep. So, so now different companies have different ways of coping with that. And I was... I had to... For a show I was doing, I had to sit and watch a video and prove that I'd watched this video from start to finish. And it very takes you through things that are acceptable and not acceptable in the workplace. And then, right at the end of this sequence, it, uh, when it's talking about how to communicate uh, on your mobile phone and what's appropriate and what isn't appropriate, it says, and remember, the eggplant emoji is not just an eggplant. <laughs> That's it! <laughs> and I'm left going, what the fuck is an eggplant? <laughs> Right? I mean, it's, but that's not what they mean. There's a whole, and it turns out, and I, this, I knew nothing about this, there's a whole kind of language. Yes, there is. Usually based around foodstuffs. <laughs> where they represent other things. Yeah. Yes. Asking someone out for a taco could easily be misinterpreted. <laughs> it turns out. Did you know that? <laughs> Be careful. Did you know about this? Did you know about this? Yes, of course! <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been? I mean, the eggplant kind of looks like... It doesn't even look like an eggplant. It's, it's you know... 
And then you've got the peach. And, the peach. and then yeah. if, you start, if you start adding to that the raindrops and all, yeah. you can do anything. <laughs> It's sad. It's innocent. But those sorts of scenes, though, you know, they're they're always a, a bit difficult. And I think Zach, you were very young when you had to do your first kissing scene. Was it in a TV show? The it, summer, summer, was Summerland. Summerland. I think. Yeah. It, how do you know that over here? That's because we've done research. Oh my! Oh, you did it. <laughs> you did a deep. We dive. knew you were coming. Really. <laughs> Summerland was the first TV show I was, I can't believe I'm talking about this. I, uh, Summerland was the first uh, show I ever was on. Um, <laughs> and it was your first kiss. And it was my first on-screen kiss. I think it was like 16. There and, you go. Um, so I was very nervous. And as I, I still get nervous, but I was very nervous for this day. Yeah. And it's all about making, I wanted to make her as comfortable as possible. She was young. I was, yes. I was 17. And uh, went into going for the kiss and everyone's watching. It's a closed set. So there was makes a lot it even of weirder. It yeah. makes it even more awkward. Yeah. Like only special people mm. can watch. Yeah. And um, everyone else is on comms. The ones like that the whole, paid. No, yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> you got to pay extra to watch. Yeah. That, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> and the, and poor... Um, uh, Whatever her name was. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, no, Poor Kay Panabaker. Okay. Oh, well done. This well, dude here, that dude remembers the names of the chimps he worked with. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why, did you, why poor her? Uh, Bill Herbie, I, uh, at lunch, they serve fish, and I was, I'm not, I, you know, the, the lunch spreads on sets, some can, or uh, any set. You You've them? never seen food like this. I was like 17. I've never seen like crab legs up for multiple people. What to movie is grab. that? I've never seen Summer crab legs. Show. Summer legs. <laughs> TV so show. It was a catered lunch, and my mom was freaking out. We've never seen this much food. It was insane. <laughs> so I just went to town and I started eating. I was doing only guest spotting. So I had crab, I had salmon, I had all this stuff. And next was the kissing scene. And I was very nervous. And uh, we went in for the kiss. I got out this close. And all of a sudden, I I, I, I I shut my eyes and I'm ready to go in and nothing happens. I'm going further and nothing's <laughs> happening. I'm getting further. <laughs> like thinking eventually we're going to touch. And all of a sudden I hear, oh my gosh, did you have salmon for lunch? <laughs> Seriously? No! Like, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it ruined... Ruined a first guess for me. Oh, <laughs> so that's... Forte, I'm sorry. It... Um, I promise I brushed my teeth. I learned a big lesson that day. You do carry a toothbrush with you everywhere you go now. I just had one. You literally probably... just had one backstage. I actually, you yeah. know what? I don't have a full one, but if anybody wants Little to... Little toothbrush. Yeah. 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 Oh, baby. Yeah. 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 Suddenly, yeah. remember the audience, Hope Springs Eternal. He has yeah. brushing his teeth. Yeah. What does it mean? <laughs> but um, going back to the film, uh, Tom, we know you're Spider-Man. Yes. Uh, Jake, who are you? <laughs> um, I, I play a character called Mysterio. Uh, and he is uh, uh, a guy who... Mysterio? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Mysterio. I did one word. Wisteria? Wisteria, like... Wisteria, yeah, like a flower. It's a flower. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think you meant he said Mysteria. Oh, oh Mysteria. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mysteria. Well, I mean, I do wear spandex. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he, his name is Mysterio, and he's chasing after this incredible creature, and it lands here on Earth, and he has to fight this creature, and he needs Spider-Man's help. And superhero get superhero outfits, and you liked yours. Oh man! Huh? Yeah. Yes, like, I did. Hold. Like yeah. you wore it more than you were meant to, didn't you? <laughs> He'd never take there's, it off. There's, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's not a scene I don't wear it in. <laughs> and did they offer you other clothes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ray, let me ask you something. If they offered you that, would you ever take <laughs> no. that off? I would never take it off. <laughs> I would never take it off. Do you fly in this movie? Yes, I. But I, I fly generally anyway. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, mind you, someone else has got a new suit. Spider-Man's got a new suit. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Wow. wow. But now, you uh, really like this suit. suit, right? I do, yes. Um, because I can go to the bathroom in it, mainly. <laughs> it's funny, if you watch Iron Man 1, <laughs> Robert wore the full suit. And then if you watch Iron Man 2, he wore, like, American football pads that were red and gold. I'm on my fifth movie. <laughs> And I just got a zipper. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a steady climb, but I'm. Well, you earned it, kid. You know, <laughs> I find that when you make enough movies, you get a zipper. Right <laughs> at some point. <laughs> but you got to earn it. 
It's one of those obstacles that are put in front of you. You got to learn how to. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> and I feel that. Is this? A, have, you, have you guys met before? No, don't go away from uh, me. <laughs> um, no, have we? I don't think so. We have, but uh, yes, we were on the same bill at one point. We were doing a charity in Los Angeles with uh, David Hockney. Oh. Do you remember? And you did voguing. I did. Well, I did it as well in the aisles. But <laughs> <laughs> you were much <laughs> better. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Happy days. Yeah. Happy days. Uh, now, uh, how are you, Ian McKellen? Because it's the last one. I'm morning. 80. Yes, you've become a tiny bit older. <laughs> And Graham, I, I, I cannot recommend it strongly enough. It's wonderful. <laughs> People give you parties and, and, uh, and send you cards and presents and, and come and see you in the theatre. And I'm having a lovely time. And was it wise they gave you a surprise party at AC? <laughs> yes, I think they were a little bit frightened. I might have a heart attack. But <laughs> <laughs> that would be the end of it. It was the most blissful thing. And what was nice was your party was kind of back in your old something ground. Uh, well, yes, it, it was my old school, Bolton School, where I, I was brought up. And it was the day before my birthday, and I thought I was just going out for an Indian meal, actually. And uh, it I think turned out I was having... I, I did have an Indian meal, but it was at school with, a, with 150 people. Some, of them, some had flown in from L.A. and... Uh, it wasn't me. No, it wasn't you. No, <laughs> you weren't invited because you didn't remember working with me. <laughs> I wasn't in charge of the list, so you can't blame me. I wasn't invited either. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I do remember working with you. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are now. This could be another party, and we've got a cake, and we're all together. That's true. What well, a nice no drink. Rosé champagne. That's no, rosé champagne. Is. <laughs> is it? Yes. Mm. Why, who haven't handed it to me? <laughs> 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 Sorry, Ian. It's <laughs> yours. Happy Cheers. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. But now, here's the thing. So, we're celebrating your career tonight, 30 glorious years. I think people have an idea that once you've arrived, once you've arrived, show business is lovely. And you, that's how you make it seem. You make it seem like you arrived, and then it's been 30 years of hits, 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 and loveliness. <laughs> I think since I last saw you, somebody, I think somebody sent me this clip on Twitter, and it's one of those things where you gotta go, like a lesser performer, a lesser performer would have cracked. I might crack now, I'm no. just saying. But have you seen this recently? I saw like a tiny bit of it and I could watch no more. We're only watching a tiny bit of Over it. This. So explain this. So it's Spanish television in, I think, about 1990. Yes, that's about all I care to remember. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it was the Spanish... This is so weird. It was the Spanish government, and they decided they were trying to appeal to a younger demographic. Oh. Right. Uh, see, probably no-one told me that at the time. OK. They just so, shove you out. So they were trying to appeal to a younger demographic. I'm not sure it worked, <laughs> but what you have to admire here is Kylie Minogue's <laughs> professionalism oh in really some difficult circumstances that the crowd weren't loving it. OK, here we go. <laughs> The League of Gentlemen, surely. That's, that's Royston Valley right there. Uh, <laughs> Kylie, fuck them. You were great. <laughs> you were great. Thanks, <laughs> uh, Will and Kevin. Will and Kevin. Now, you are both very competitive. We mm -hmm. know this, mm -hmm. right? And uh, one of the things you both do online, oddly, I, I don't think we've ever talked about this, but you yeah. both do it. You post these kind of motivational... Uh, speeches yes. mm -hmm. online, yes. and they're Special. short and punchy. Just to give people an example, this is uh, Will, and they're always done like this. Self 
discipline is the center of all material success. What is your contribution to the human family? It's just other people's opinions is a really shitty way to determine how we feel about ourselves. And that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Kevin's are similar. They're, I would say, slightly more aggressive. Uh, uh, here's Kevin doing some. Man, wake up. Wake your asses up. Be a doer. Let's get back to smiling. Let's get back to loving. Let's get back to being positive. Don't do what they expect you to do. Do the unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> So we had the idea, we've asked the audience uh, if there are any kind of issues in their life that they need motivation uh -oh. with. Oh, okay. Something where, you know, their life is stopping them and you guys can push them over, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's find out who we're going to first. Is it uh, Galia? Galia, all right. Hello, Galia. Some, oh, uh, hello, now. Tonight, so now, you have a, a fear you want to help uh, get over, right? Yes, um, I'm scared of feet. Okay, but now, <laughs> but, I think, but are you scared of your own feet? Any feet, my own, my friends, any, like, I don't want to look at them, see them, yeah. enjoy them. Just... Okay, okay, right. so, so Gala is, is scared of all feet. Scared of all feet. 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 All feet. Okay, all feet. so I'm going to start with you, Will. Well, okay. okay, so the ca if you want to do it straight down the lens, it's number no, no, five no. there. Okay, no, so uh, Galia, scared of feet. How can you get her over this fear? Go. Oh, uh, th this one's easy. We're going to fix this right now. <laughs> This right okay. now. Okay. Okay. No, you just got to come down here and confront your fear. She's horrified. She's really scared. She's probably scared. scared. Okay. In a bizarre drug-related incident, Graham Norton was arrested over this. <laughs> Okay, that was your attempt. Uh, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, camera five, go. Uh, what is, it's, it's what? What's your name again? Feet. Oh, Galia. 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 Here's the best way to get you over your fear of feet. You can't take steps in life without feet. Mm. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Your fear oh. is prohibiting you from progression. Mm. The minute that you can look at feet and understand that feet are simply what move you forward, mm. you will put your fear behind mm. you. Oh. And yours was like medication. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go to uh, Jackson. Where's Jackson? Jackson. Now Jackson is almost real. Uh, so Jackson, you need motivation because uh, I'm lactose intolerant, but I can't help myself. I keep um, eating dairy. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, how good is that? You can't. You can't just give it up. So, no, you um, can't. Yeah. Um, okay. So, okay. so, but you I want need, to right. stop. You want to stop eating dairy because it's bad for you, uh, but you can't. Yeah. Look, there's plenty of alternatives out there, but let's be honest, they don't taste as good. So. Okay. Right. Right. How lactose intolerant are you? What happens? Well, um, basically, after I eat it, I'm the not so fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Well, th this one's this one seems. Okay. Pretty, okay. okay. Pretty Will. There you go. Easy. Um, you know, at, at some point, you have to think about other people. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> If the, if the lactose doesn't agree with you, it's not going to agree with others. <laughs> and just at, at the heart of it, if, if you love anybody, if you love anybody, especially those that are near you, um, just put the ice cream down because we, we, we are not inclined to enjoy your funky ass. <laughs> okay. That seems, that was very good. Kevin, here we go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a different approach. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the opposite, the opposite route. Here's my thing. So many people want to change. <laughs> so many people want to do what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's lactose intolerant says, you know what, I'm lactose intolerant and I can't. Here's my feeling, you get one life. And if you want to blow your ass <laughs> for the rest of your life, then damn it, you should do it. Do it. To the best of your ability. Because you get one life. Yeah. When it's all said and done, go out saying, I drank milk because I loved it. 